have reports from our monitoring team on the ground that it's quite an exodus experience, from, especially from the coast, and what uh, was of concern are motorists not uh, switching on their headlamps on the main road. Uh, as we speak, it is law uh, on our main roads to have the headlamps switch on, and there is a safety aspect to it because you become visible to other road uses um, and the likes and uh, unnecessary um, crashes such as head-on collisions uh, could be uh, avoided uh, through uh, that compliance. In addition to that, of course, uh, the following distances is still a concern as reported, meaning uh, drivers or motorists need to increase the following distance on uh, these routes. Um, uh, if we are to comply in that regard, we would be able to uh, ensure that uh, we share the responsibility of safety. Of course, because of that, uh, volumes on the road, uh, we would be required to, to, to uh, impose uh, patience on our roads. We need to be patient with uh, other road users at the same time and through that uh, ensure safe travels. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there any way that any other way that you're able to communicate with road users that are, that are on the road, or it is only roadblock communications and reminders? Of course, we, we, we know that road users are good, um, of course, radio listeners. Um, so uh, we would um, use also this channel to communicate to, to, to the public or the motorists for them to at least ensure uh, that uh, they comply. Roadblocks are reminders. Um, our officials in the roadblocks, of course, as uh, one of the pit stops, would ensure that uh, lights are switched on. However, when motorists are stopping at uh, fueling stations along the way and getting back on the road, it seems they forget. So probably um, fueling stations, uh, we will also partner with them so that mm. uh, they can be another uh, point uh, to remind uh, drivers or motorists. Yeah. In, in case of a dangerous following distance, uh, for example, or just dangerous behavior on, on the road, um, where do we report? Um, is, is there a feasible way to do this? Yeah, we have the traffic violation report number uh, 061 That's the number that motorists can use to uh, report any unruly behavior. Uh, uh, at some sporadic points, we also observe heavy uh, trucks following each other at close uh, distances. So uh, those hazardous um, conditions on our roads can also be reported to that number. That will trigger the highway uh, traffic patrol to ensure that we uh, uh, to to to, to uh, prompt them to ensure yeah. smooth traffic flow.